What is going on guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to change the language on your keyboard and also how to put it, how to get an on-screen keyboard in case your keyboard does break. So I'm going to teach you this in two ways. So the first thing that you want to do is you're going to right click on English where it says ENG. I don't know if you guys can see that. You just right click there and then on this button right here show touch keyboard button. Just click on that and now you have a keyboard. So if you go ahead and click on that key, if you go ahead and click on that icon there you'll now have a keyboard with some smiley faces on there and stuff like that. So now the next way that you would do this is you would simply click on the start button on your keyboard with the uh, the actual symbol and you're going to push X together and then you would go into command prompt. You would click on command prompt on this menu right here that popped up and then you would just simply type in OSK and the keyboard would show up. Now another way to do this is you would click on the start menu you would go into settings. Now, if you don't have that settings gearbox there that I just clicked on, you would type in settings and then you would go into ease of access and then you would toggle, you would, sorry, you would go into the left side here where it says keyboard, click on the keyboard and you, you would toggle this button right out, right, uh, sorry, you would toggle this radio button on. This is a radio button. And again, you just close that. I'm gonna show you guys quickly again. Click on the start button. You go into settings. If you don't have the settings uh, icon there, you would type in settings. You would click on ease of access and you would click on the keyboard, which is on the left side right there. And then you would toggle this radio button on. And then you, there you go. There is your on-screen keyboard. And now that we know how to add an on-screen keyboard, I'm going to show you guys how to change the language of your keyboard. So on the bottom right of your screen, you're going to see where it says ENG. You're going to go ahead and click on that. So once you click on that, you're going to click on language preferences. And here you can see the available keyboards that I already have. It's English, Canada, and the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and click on language preferences. I'm going to go ahead and click on add language. And now a bunch of languages are going to pop up. So I can go ahead and search for a language. Let's go ahead and add like a strange language. Devehi. Let's go ahead and add that just to show you guys, get a good idea. So now that we have the, the language pack added, we're going to go ahead and close that and now we're going to go ahead and click on ENG and you can click on Devehi. Well, let's go ahead and see how that looks. So as you can see it looks strange. I have no idea what this actually says. And in order to change it back you would go ahead and click on this again and you would click on the language United States or Canada, whichever one, whichever one you use. Now another way to change the language is you would click on your keyboard. It is a shortcut is you would click the start button, start symbol button on your keyboard, which is right near, right in between control and alt. And you would click on spacebar together and it would pop up a bunch of languages. And then you would either hold the windows key and push the spacebar in order to get the other, in order to select the languages. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. And that is pretty much how you do that guys. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video. If you did find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you do want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.